Yeah, I mean, I, I apologize to, to Coach Pope. I thought we could put up more of a fight. I think our, I think our guys just didn't respond to some adverse situations that happened early in the game, and which, which things that uh, I don't care what level you are, that, that good teams, uh, you know, need to do. And I, I felt we could have come out and resisted a little bit much more than we did. And, uh, you know, very finely tuned machine of a basketball team, but, but you know, I'm not, very, I, I'm not uh, happy with our kind of spiritual effort tonight. So uh, disappointing night for the Panthers. Uh, and like I said, I apologize to Coach Pope. I, 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 uh, I, I thought about, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking as a guy that's been in Division Two and Division Three my whole life. I've never, uh, I, I, I've had very few encounters uh, with, with, uh, with coaches at, at this level, at the high major levels that are uh, as humble uh, as, as Mark Pope, getting to, to know him through this process. And I ran into him in South Carolina. I had never met him before and, uh, and, and introduced myself to him. And it, it, the way he, he kind of, you know, made me feel like I was one of him, that doesn't happen every time you go, you go up to, to coaches that, uh, you know, quite frankly, or, or make as much money as he does, you know. <laughs> so uh, I, I will never forget that encounter. He, he's the, 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 uh, d just so welcoming. And uh, so I, I really appreciate him having us. And like I said, I apologize to him, apologize to B B Big Blue Nation that uh, thought we could have prepared you guys a little bit better, than we, much better than we did tonight. Okay, let's have a question for the student athletes first. Uh, we have uh, Edward Jones and Kennedy Miles are the leading scorers for Wesleyan. Uh, Jones 12 points and Miles with 10. If you have a question for the student athletes, please raise your hand. Uh, just for both of you guys, kind of a, a unique you know, opportunity here. You're going against a team that's brand new, probably not a whole lot of film on Kentucky. Just how do you go about trying to prepare a team with 12 scholarship guys that had never played together before? And what was it like going up against them on the court tonight? Um, we did a lot of scouting um, on their team from last year. A lot of offense from BYU, um, where Mark Pope was at. Um, we try to watch their uh, blue and white scrimmages as well. Um, and playing them out there, I mean, it was just it was tough. Um, they were physically, you know, probably stronger in a lot of cases, but we try to play hard as we can. Um, I mean, they they have a good offense, make a lot of reads, so we just we just try to go out there and play as hard as we can. Okay, we got one over here. Hang on, wait for. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Um, I think the the biggest thing was um, trying to get to that pace. Um, it's a different pace when it comes down to D2 and D1. Um, whether or not that means anything, uh, we did not play the way we wanted to. But the scout was try to go over everything. All of them can shoot basically, and um, they 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 showed that to us today. So um, we got to go back and do a little bit better and, and just as a team um, executing the scout. And it was a little harder because once again it was a a brand new team. One thing we could do was look at his uh, offense in BYU, so we tried, we tried as hard as we could do, uh, but they shot the lights out, so. Coming into Rupp Arena for the first time this season, what's it going to be like for you all continuing your season, you know, playing at the D2 level uh, or D3 um, and, and being able to continue playing how you guys are playing um, as a team? What do you take forward from this game? How do you move on and kind of put this under your belt and just, you know, move forward and learn from, from what happened this game? Um, to be completely honest with you, uh, we're not going to play no type of length like that. Um, we can take advantage of that when it comes down to being better prepared for things and open up more things that will be open. Uh, I will say that we can take a lot out of this game. We turn the ball over way too much, and anybody knows that knows basketball, you turn the ball over, you're not going to get a good chance of winning unless you hit shots, and we didn't do it either or. So uh, I think the biggest thing is we can we can kind of implement our game and how to be aggressive. Um, I learned little things we got to go back and do. It's still a little early, but. We did not prepare. We did not come in mentally ready to, to play like we were supposed to. So it's a more execution standpoint, and the little things is a big thing in basketball. So we got to do a little bit more of that. Uh, yeah, it's just like Kennedy said. Um, I mean, those small things are going to matter. Uh, we're going to have to uh, make a lot of um, adjustments, uh, learning. We're going to learn a lot from this game, um, learning how to play with each other more, learn how to execute our offense, uh, learn how to play tougher. 
Um, I think that helps us, you know, playing Kentucky, you know, Power Five school. Um, but we got to play a lot, much tougher, execute our offense a lot more, um, and just be ready, you know, execute and play games at each level. I got any others? Not. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I got one in the back. Yep. It'll be last question for the for the players. Yep. What does a game like this do to build the brand for the school? Um, it's huge for us. Um, you know, playing University of Kentucky is huge for our, uh, our community. Um, our community is really, really big on um, bas our basketball program, and it, it helps us a whole lot. Uh, like I, like Coach said, we didn't come out and give our best foot forward, um, but it, it's huge for our program. It's huge for our community. Uh, I think it's also big too. Uh, even though the, the championships is what everybody talks about, this adds on to more exposure for us. You know, um, for our community, we did not play the best that we wanted to. So, uh, apologize to all Owens girls and everybody that was here. Also, that that was supporting us, we did not play to our best of our ability. Um, so, I'm sorry that you came to watch that for us. Um, it's not a stepping stone that we want to take at all. So, um, this is a, a big opportunity that we did not fulfill, fulfill fully, in my opinion. And I think we can build on that and realize how much it takes it is to win or get close to win. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Get back to the locker room. Thank you, guys. Ready to continue with the coach uh, right here. Thanks, guys. Good luck. I think all but three of the regulars that, that played attempted a three and, and seven made one in the game. What What is the challenge like, uh, you know, facing a team that has that many guys willing to? Shoot. Well, we were, they were very unforgiving. I mean, every mistake that we made, it was just push. Uh, and it was it was one after the other after the other. And, uh, you know, so it was uh, it seemed like a very well-rounded roster. And that's part of us making our bed. Like, you know, they're already the University of Kentucky. And... When, when, when we make mistakes, we, we, we talk a lot about giving the other team confidence. It, never, it, it may look like a four or a five point swing on the books, but really in terms of momentum and getting the individual basketball players to play with a, a, a very, very high level of confidence, uh, you know, that, that is, uh, you know, I guess what that you guys can thank me for that. You guys, your guys, we gave your guys a lot of confidence tonight. And uh, but you know, truthfully, it, it was uh, it, they, they came off the bench with guys that performed and made plays. And uh, you know, we, we 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 made mistakes and they they capitalized. Not it didn't seem to me like they they, did, they didn't capitalize on four out of five of them. They capitalized on all five. And so that's that's the one thing that stands out there. Um, Coach, we're new to this team as well. What would be your what would be your scouting report to the teams that are going to play them next? Because it's there's all brand new to us as well. Yeah, I you know they they have you know gosh it, it, an unbelievable task to bring that amount of talent in uh, and then mesh and get them playing cohesive basketball because you're asking players with. That, that don't really, in some cases, don't know one another to to sacrifice for one another. And, you know, to, to, to have 32 assists and five turnovers, that, that's, you know, symbolic of a team that plays with, with no agenda other than just making the play that they're doing over and over and over in practice. And, uh, and so it was... You know, I, I'm sure on on their side it was it was good basketball to watch. I, I nobody was really you know doing things that were out of their element or, or or really even trying to take the game over. They were just making the right play. So you know, again, we were not perfect, but when you have when you have a team that shoots that that field goal percentage and has those assists and those you know the, the few of turnovers, it, it tells you that the team is not like pressing pressing themselves offensively to do too much. They're just playing within the system. And uh, th th I think UK did that beautifully tonight. Okay, we'll go with Cameron, then Ryan and Ben. We'll be done. Uh, Drew, just a, a similar question to what I asked your players. Um, obviously, probably a unique scout for you from a coaching perspective. You know, no film really on, on Kentucky as a cohesive team from last year. So how did you approach that? Was it a lot of, you know, showing them BYU film, the, the blue-white scrimmage? Just how did you go about trying to 
get you guys prepared for what happened tonight? Yeah, we tried to find clips of the blue white scrimmage, uh, but you know that that wasn't really out there. Uh, and, and yeah, we watched BYU from last year. We watched personnel edits uh, from from all the new players. I, I'd never seen that. This is my third time playing UK, and it was I, I didn't you know as much as I'm a Kentucky guy. I, I it's I don't follow you know I, I'm you know morphed into my own program. But so you know when I was putting it together, our our starting lineup anticipate uh, we anticipated you know starting lineup and. I was, I was, you know, obviously, I had Bray in, Bria in for, uh, you know, Amway, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, but to, to look at grad, 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 uh, I, I, I had never seen anything like that. So obviously a very experienced team. We knew they were going to be very polished and physical. Uh, so yeah, it was just trying to piece together a puzzle and assume they're going to run some of the same stuff against BYU. but. And we lost the game. I, you know, I, I, we, we said we're not trying to beat Kentucky tonight. We're trying to beat the game of basketball. And, and that meant not turning the ball over. That meant, I mean, early in the second half, they just ran a very simple back screen to a lob. We just didn't offer, you know, nearly the resistance that we needed to offer defensively for, for UK to, you know, come in and, and, and really prepare for what they're going to see uh, early in the season. So I uh, hope they give us another shot down the road. But, uh, you know, I wish we could have done better for him tonight. Drew, a very similar question to what you were just asked, and that was kind of more about the preparation, but how did you guys go about trying to simulate that, that style in practice when there's just not really many teams that, 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 that played in that, that fashion? No, I, I actually felt optimistic because we have a, a, a veteran group as well uh, that, that, you know, obviously we, 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 we've played in the Young Center. We, we, we play Western Kentucky. We played Western Kentucky later this year. We played St. Louis last year. So I, I was optimistic that our veteran guys wouldn't be uh, overwhelmed uh, by the moment. But I will say of any exhibition we played, the atmosphere was, you know, extremely electric. Uh, and and this, this, this felt like a real college basketball game tonight. I mean, usually when you walk out in October 23rd, October 24th, it, you know, it's, it's – you know, a third full or, or a quarter of the way full, and it just, you know, it, you don't get that, that college basketball feel, but this was uh, a different type of feel within an exhibition game, so that was a first for us. Okay, last one, Ben. Um, Drew, you mentioned the, the cohesiveness out there. Were you surprised by that level with, with 11, 12 brand new players who've never been teammates, that level of cohesiveness? And then also how difficult is it to prepare for a team that, Everybody can pass. The starting center gets five, six assists. Down the line, everybody can can make those assists. I, I wasn't surprised. I, I was, I was, you know, I'll tell you what. I, I was, I was surprised that they only hit eight threes in the in the first half. It felt like fourteen to to me. And you know, the I I wasn't surprised because I you you watch BYU and you just you you, you see the direction that this is going. And uh, it, it's it's such a cliche that some of the parts are greater than the whole or whatever. It, 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 you you got really really good basketball players that are bought into a system uh, and and sacrificing individual agendas to to make an extra pass or to cut hard. You know even even if they're not going to be the, the score in the play, they they, they 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 cut hard and they do things and they create opportunities for their teammates. That, uh, that that made it very difficult. So that that's kind of what we saw when we were watching BYU uh, from the film last year, and uh, you know that tonight it very much very much resembled that. They got some, uh, to your point though. They got some really high IQ basketball players that you know we try to go under, and it, it did, we did try to mix it up some in, in, in some ways, but uh, wasn't good enough. Okay, coach. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you guys. You. Yep.